Okay, what's going on guys? It's your boy Turbite Reacts here and we are back with another reaction of Chernobyl. This is going to be the last episode and then I'm going to try to jump into some of the um <clears throat> the real, you know, stuff like the, maybe a documentary or something like that. You guys have sent me links already. I'm going to check those out, of course. Um to see you know what it's like today also to live there so i don't know yet but we'll see how things go um so we're gonna jump into this reaction man i'm i'm happy to see um that how the series is going um so far today being the last episode what the decision is going to be if they're gonna tell the truth if he's gonna you know just not tell the truth and are they gonna risk their lives because i mean the kgb is watching so i want to see how things turned out you know um basically they're saying uh, and and that's the thing too like the real heroes you know they never really get recognition and stuff until a lot later on this used to happen back in the day a lot it's a lot of stuff that comes out in today's society that you're like are you serious like you know what i'm saying talking about movies like the hidden figures right like um you know it's just stuff like that when you see it portrayed today you're like are you serious this happened and this but it's no it's times have changed so much you know what i'm saying in, in, in you know what i'm saying um, when you're going to talk about gender equality and all this other stuff, like, you know, you know, and it's good. Progression is good. Progression is good. But at the same time, it just, it blows my mind sometimes that, you know, because I'm coming from a country, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, somebody was asking me the other day, well, not really asking me. They were basically, <laughs> you know, basically trying to come at me you know what i'm saying but not in a serious way in a joking way saying you know i should know you know who was president when chernobyl was happening you know what i'm saying um which was um reagan i didn't know that because i wasn't here you know what i'm saying i wasn't here um i'm not an american you know if you you know i'm i'm naturalized but i'm not an american american you know what i'm saying so um i'm a jamaican let me state that okay i'm a jamaican so i don't know the i was in school here so i don't really know much of the history i know some of it but i don't know much of it like i don't know a whole ton about american history i know certain things you know what i'm saying so um that can help me go by the day let's just say that things that can help me go by the day but I don't, I don't know the the whole history. You know what I'm saying? I know Obama was the 44th pre president. I can tell you the presidents going back probably, I don't know, the last 30 years probably. I know it was um, George Bush Jr. before um, before Obama, um, before Bush it was Clinton, before Clinton it was, I think it was George Sr., right? I think it was George Sr. before Clinton. And then you had Reagan, I think. Before, I don't know, man. As I said, um, I don't know much about it. But when it comes down to that stuff, you know, it just it, it, it just show goes to show you like the 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 history behind certain things of um as I was saying before, I come from a country where gender equality is is like you know what I'm saying? It was never a thing where women wasn't praised. As a matter of fact, in my country, women are are put up on a way higher pedestal than men. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I'm saying? Women get preference with so many with with so many different things. You know what I'm saying? To a point where, you know what I'm saying? So there's no. I mean. If it was going on, if gender inequality was in my country, it's not something that I've seen. You get what I'm saying? It's not something that I have seen with my own eyes. 
maybe years before i don't know but i've never heard anybody say like my mom or nothing like that like my my mom never had an issue getting a job you get what i'm saying like we got independence in 1962 so it was so it so I don't know if things were different before independence or, you know what I'm saying? But, I mean, since since independence for our country, I've never heard anybody complain about gender inequality. You know what I'm saying? Or, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, for me, it's, you know what I'm saying? So my mom was, was born before the country got independence. I never heard her say anything about that. You know what I'm saying? So it was never an issue. I don't think so. So when you come to, to a country like this and so you see that, you know what I'm saying, see movies coming out, them talking about this, especially, um, you know, the, the racism and all of this other stuff. Like, it, it's very new to me. It was very new to me. Like, I never experienced racism until I got to this country. So it's like... For me, it was, like, very new to me. Like, you know what I'm saying? I, I'm talking about me coming from a country where everybody is, you know what I'm saying? The, the country is extremely diverse, you know, you know, contrary to what a lot of people believe. Like, Jamaica is extremely diverse. We're not talking about um, white, black, Hispanic, um, chi um, ha Asian, Haitian. It, it doesn't matter. Like, I think there's probably somebody living in Jamaica from every single country from around the world. So it's like, it's extremely diverse when it comes on to, um, if you want to put it like skin color or race, you know what I'm saying? So, it, and it was never like, it was never, Oh, I hate you because you, you know what I'm saying? You're black or I hate you because you're white or I hate you because you're, you're Asian. I hate you because you know what I'm saying? Like I, it was never anything like that. So when I came to this country and there's all this crazy stuff about racism, you know, and then, you know what I'm saying? Not that I didn't know that there was slavery, but I didn't know it was still a thing. You know what I'm saying? Like it was still something that they were fighting so vehemently to change. You know what I'm saying? Like today. So you you would think that there's absolutely no progression, but it kind of seems like that sometimes, you know, just living in this country for the for the past, you know what I'm saying? Almost 20 years. So it's like for me, it's just nuts. You know what I'm saying? So but people have been dealing with this for years before I came here. So um it's just crazy to me what's you know when it comes on to this show the people what you understand why people risk their lives for for certain things you know what i'm saying so i think that's what they're going to do um maybe that's the reason why he ended up um from the opening scene where he where um where legasov killed himself maybe from that maybe that is a result of the truth that he that he ended up telling you know what i'm saying and didn't want to be shot in the head or anything like that. but they were they were watching him so i don't know i don't know exactly why because i mean he recorded something maybe he wanted to record the truth maybe he didn't go you know what i'm saying maybe he hanged himself and then they got the information from the recording that he that he stashed right so i don't know exactly what what took place so let's go check it out man i'm stoked to go see this so i will see you guys for the review after in case you didn't know if you're new here you're just watching me for the first time the link is down in the description i'm going to be putting the first link first going to be the bit shoot link it's going to be the full full uncut reaction okay with my comments and everything on it and then i'm going to have another reaction later on for the people who wants to download the reaction and watch it you know what i'm saying full reaction um i might make 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 um both of them available at the same time but sometimes i end up doing the bit shoot one first and then i'll do the google drive one later okay so thank you guys so much for watching as always and i will see you guys for the review first of all um let's stop 
give them a round of applause, man. That was um, one of the best five episodes of anything that I've ever watched, you know. Um, it's pretty cool, man, to, to see, you know, how everything was done. Um, so I like to get the technical aspects of things out of the way, especially when I'm when I finish up a series. I like to get the technical aspects out of the way before I really start talking about what really happened in a show itself, right? So technical aspects. Um, I talk about you know the cinematography when it comes on to TV shows. The cinematography was was brilliant. It was brilliant. It made me feel like I was one of the citizens. You know what I'm saying? And that's one of the things when you're going for is cinematography. Um, that's what you go for. You know what I'm saying? To to bring the audience into that world, let them feel like a part of that world, even though they're not watching in freaking 3D or you know 40x or whatever. It makes you feel like you're a part of it. It it it. it you know what I'm saying? So they did that no doubt about it this wasn't a movie it was a tv show and they made you a part of that world kind of like how i feel when i watch game of thrones like i feel like you know what i'm saying like i'm one of the dothraki you know what i'm saying like you you feel engrafted into the movie like you were you were casted into the movie and they did that very well in this it made you feel like you were one of those people experiencing that at the time you know what i'm saying so did a very good job of that talking about the actors the actors did an extremely great job as i said a couple of these people i know them you know what i'm saying i know them from movies that they have done in the past some of my favorite actors there was a lot of people in um in this that were you know what i'm saying um that were in game of thrones like in this um final episode we had the dude that played um he was a prosecutor he played Roose bolton in game of thrones so a lot of times it's kind of a callback for for shows you know overseas shows english actors and stuff like that you'll see a lot of those people in those type of roles so it was good to see in them i love these these um what they did in this show their acting was incredible they didn't miss a beat absolutely amazing acting um talking about the sound design oh my god even that last that that last um whatever that was that they were playing while they were showing you know the 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 little video clips and pictures at the end of episode of episode five of the real people you know what i'm saying like legosov and sherbina and all of them um diatlov the real true ones in real life right um, like when they were showing that, while they were playing there, like if that was an original composition, it definitely like, while I was reading it, I was really feeling so down <laughs> and stuff like that, because that's the feeling that they were going for. They want you to feel, you know, how, you know, a normal person should feel reading about something like that. You know what I'm saying? Cause you know, this happened for real. It happened in real life. And to think these, uh, And to think these dudes still think only 31 people died from Chernobyl. Are these people kidding me right now? Who the hell is going to believe that crap? They need to change that. Now that this, this show is putting all this stuff out there. Who believes that that big, big old explosion only killed 31 people? Are you serious, man? Come on, man. These people were, 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 were working in, um, um, the, the radiation was so high and so many people went there all these firemen and all these people that went there to help all these um i mean they they, they lie so much they, they, they you, you you don't even know what to believe it's crazy i said man i started to get upset during watching the episode you know i started to get upset because some of this stuff is stuff that still goes on today. You know what I'm saying? As I as I talked about, is you know, is something that I've witnessed in 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 my own life lifetime while I was doing construction. Where I see you see, um, I don't know if you I, I know 
that people are watching my reactions from all over the world. But I remember one particular instance of a parking lot that collapsed. And when they went after, you know what I'm saying? When they went after and did the inspection of why this happened, cheap materials, man. Cheap materials. Yes, it's going it, it to, it, it, it might serve for, you know, 10, 20 years, but it's still, you get what I'm saying? It's still, could, it, there's still a possibility that this thing might fall because you use, used um, cheap materials to build it. You know what I'm saying? And you're not looking at the future and saying, oh, while this thing is operational, if it, if it falters, it could kill so many people. And that's all going to be on your head after the fact. You know, it's just amazing to me, man. It's just, it's just so amazing to me how people do these things. And, and, and you know, and in this, this, this last episode of Chernobyl, I'm glad. I mean, everything he said, because he went to address the, the world in Vienna, Vienna, right? So he didn't say anything. He didn't say anything because, of course, you tell the world that they're going to want to investigate, you know what I'm saying, the UN, whatever. They're going to want to investigate. They're going to want to know what the hell is going on here, you know, why don't you, why don't you guys fix it? Even though I think that would have been, been the better place for him to, um, to discuss this and to say that, I think it would have been the better place because he would have gotten the result of change immediately. You know what I'm saying? Because they can't, at that point, they couldn't deny. You get what I'm saying? They couldn't deny. You know what I'm saying? So, he didn't do that. He didn't out them to the world, but he decided to do this at the trial of the, of the three dudes, right? Um, so, he decided to do it at the trial, which I didn't think he was going to go through with it, to be honest, but he did. And of course, as I said, they're going to cover it up and basically obscure him because we know we know from the beginning scene of episode one that he killed himself. And I was wondering, OK, this is how we're going to start this. Like what happened? You know what I'm saying? Um, so, as I said, I did not know coming into the series, the events around Chernobyl. I know Chernobyl, I knew of the power plant it was an exploding power plant and and um you know what i'm saying and even to you know i didn't wasn't sure if it was um safe or unsafe to go there today you know what i'm saying so i was like basically just i just knew the, the damn thing exploded i didn't know the extent of it of course um, but it affected, um, obviously neighboring countries and stuff like that from what I learned. So I learned a lot from watching this. Don't get me wrong. Now, if somebody wants to talk about Chernobyl, I can talk about Chernobyl. So that's pretty cool. I like to watch stuff in this kind of manner. Reading about it is boring. So that's why, you know, as I said, I'm not a person who goes out of my way to seek out history because I'm not a history buff like that. But if you put it in a form like this, a TV, uh, a TV form, um tv show movie i'll watch it there's a lot of stuff about true events that i've that that i've watched in the past um about these things and it's you know give me a little bit of knowledge maybe not the entire knowledge of the event but gives you a little bit of knowledge of what you know what when the the the, the um the circumstances around this happening or why it happened how did it happen you know what i'm saying it's answered a lot of questions for me so i'm really really glad for it so the next time i do something on chernobyl is going to be i'm going to choose like a couple of maybe documentaries or something that i'm going to try to react to um you guys have sent me it if you have it please post it under this video again um i really appreciate it um, if you post it under this video again, so I don't have to go back and go search for these links. Um, so I will be doing that next. I'm gonna try to get that out to you guys before the end of this week. Um, but this episode five was, was really, it was really good. It was good, really 
I'm glad that they took the time to explain why it happened because I was still a little like, how did this happen? Because they kept saying that, you know what I'm saying? Like the core should not have exploded. So I wanted to know how did it happen? So I'm glad that he, they took the time to explain what happened. They let Legasov explain exactly what happened, how you know, how they control, how the, ex the electricity is built up. The process was completely explained. If you didn't know nothing about nuclear power plants, you can leave, you can watch this episode and basically know exactly how it works. You know what I'm saying? You might not know the science, this, the science behind it, but you know the layman terms behind it. You get what I'm saying? So that was pretty cool to watch. As I said, man, I'm glad he tr he told the truth before before that. Um, what is the cost of lies, man? What is the cost of lies? It's a hell of a price. I'll tell you that much. Um, I'll tell you that much. And I can I'm not gonna sit here and tell you I've never told a lie. That that would be a lie. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So. I've always tried to to tell the truth at all times, be completely honest. Some people describe me as being brutally honest about things, um, and that's because I've learned my lessons in the past. Like, um, the truth is always better. It's always better because it absolves you of any guilt. So why not tell the truth? Like, at the end of the day, you know what I'm saying? When people's like, oh, the truth can cost you your life. And it's like, well, I know the truth. You know, so what can you do? Can't do anything about the truth because the truth is the truth. You can't, um, the truth will always be the truth. It can't be um, messed with. It can't be, do anything. You tell the truth and it is the truth. It is what it is. It's going to remain what it is. You know what I'm saying? A lie can be turned into anything. You know what I'm saying? There's many things to a lie. There's many avenues to a lie did you know what i'm saying but the truth is one thing the truth so um so i like the message behind it and it it just goes to show you that i mean it it was it is the the you know the soviet union whatever and you know it ended and all of this other stuff but at the end of the day they cheapened you know i'm glad they were forced to fix this and to fix this situation so that it never happens again. Um, it's, it's so sad that so many people had to die for this to be changed. You know what I'm saying? They, they didn't even say, let, let us put a plan in place just in case. You know what I'm saying? Let us put a plan just in case that, you know what I'm saying? Like, okay, we're going to use cheap materials now. And in five years from now, we're going to upgrade all the reactors because now we can't afford it. It wasn't a situation like that. They could have spent the money from the get-go. And if you can do that, do that. Never cheapen out of materials, man. Never cheapen out of materials. This series was awesome, man. I hope you guys enjoyed it with me, of course. I know, you, I know a lot of people came in. They had a lot to say because they're living either close or, you know, very close to these to, to where this happened you know what i'm saying so such a great series man so riveting so something that can pull you in to a situation and understand shoot it makes me want to go and maybe even visit you know what i'm saying just to not necessarily chernobyl itself because i know the area is still too dangerous to kind of visit and you have to like um be you know what i'm saying like I don't know, you gotta dress, dress a certain way, of course, to avoid, you know what I'm saying, even though there's still a strong, um, there's still a strong possibility that you might get cancer from visiting the damn place, because the radiation is still super strong, as you can see from even the hospital, um, the hospital that was like, I don't even remember how far they said the hospital is away from Chernobyl, but it's, it, it's a decent, decent distance, right? And the, the fireman clothes in the basement is still, the it's still like, I think it was like over 5,000 or something like that. Um, um, Tonkins, I think they call it, um, the reading on the dosimeter. So that was, 
you know what I mean? Like even today, and that was just recently they measured that. So that's that's nuts, man. So I really do appreciate them for for making something like this that we could sit down and watch and be you know have a little bit of education of the events surrounding this um basically natural um disaster you know because of idiocy basically it's because of idiocy it's because of stupidity man so thank you guys for watching as always hope you guys as i said enjoyed watching it with me if you like this reaction leave a like on leave a like on the video you love my review okay leave a comment in the comment section i want to hear from everybody that that watch this video if you watch my review i want to hear from you man tell me what you think after watching these these um five episodes of chernobyl and of course subscribe if you're new there's more to come i want to do more stuff like this on the channel but there's other stuff on the channel you guys can check out of course as right now i'm watching rome and, and rome is another series that is based on real events so it's like learning about a little bit about roman history is pretty intriguing and it, you know it's pretty cool so thank you guys so much for watching as always just remember we're terror squad over here i am mr turbine reacts and i will see you guys for the next one peace